Welcome folks, it's been a while. I've been out riding motorcycles and doing spring yard stuff, so I figured we'd come back with a Zep Classic, The Ocean. Uh, definitely one of my favorites. I've been working on the lead. I think I got her down for you. So um, we're in standard tuned and we'll take it from there. A minor pentatonic scale, and we're gonna hammer in on the fourth string from five to seven twice. Then we let go and hit five again. Then we go to seven on the fifth, and then um, eighth on the sixth. So we have this so far. And you just slide that down, okay? Then we're going to go five to seven on the fifth, and catch the fourth string at five. Then we'll catch the fifth string. Uh, fret it on the fourth string. So we have this. Okay. Then we're going to go. So we're going to go to the fourth fret of the fifth string and then hit the fourth string at the seventh fret. Then we move five on the fifth string to seven and then start again the actual verse. We're going to do D, C, then A, more or less power chords, and then we're just going to hit the G note, and back to A, and then we're going to slide. We'll reference the C by just playing on the fourth, third, and second string, sliding that from five up to seven, so a C to a D. So you might have saw me just playing part of the chords. Okay, so that's the rhythm there. Now, if you got two guitars, you can do rather than this A G, you can do an uh, A G here, where you're playing part of an A chord. Um, you play the first through the fourth string. Okay, Jimmy overdubs, and those are some of the things that he does, some of the nuances. Now, the next time he goes into the lick, we're doing some scratches in between. So you want to do a down, up, down. Okay, down, up, down, twice. I don't think he does it the same way twice, uh, or, or you know, at least a few times in a row. So listen for what he's doing and just do those scratches between. You'll sound fine. Um, then the next time you do the C, D, C, all right, so what we do there different, we're going just the, just like we did in the beginning. Then we're going to add this F, and we're just playing again on the 4th, 3rd, and 2nd strings. If you want, you can overdub it with the 2nd guitar. Alright, just playing the 1st string on the 8th um, fret, and then on the 10th fret in the 2nd and 3rd strings. Alright, but um, that's if you have a 2nd guitar to overdub it. But if you don't, just do the power chord. Alright. So that's the rhythm, that's the whole gist of the rhythm of the song. Now the third verse will repeat just like the second, but uh, you know, the solo will come in and play over it, and it sounds like this. Oh, 
minor pentatonic scale here. So we're going to start out with the unison bend. We'll hold the B string on the second uh, string at the fifth fret, and we're going to bend up the third string at the seventh fret twice. Then we're going to give it a bend up and a release. Then we'll hit five on the third to five on the fourth. And then fourth string at seven twice. So all together it should sound like this. Okay, the next part will go five seven on the um, fifth string to five on the fourth and then five on the third. Back to five on the four, and then seven on the fourth twice. Then we're going to take the third string from seven, hit that, slide up to uh, nine. Then we'll catch the eighth fret on the second to eighth fret on the first. And then we'll hit the first again, and then we'll hit the second string, 10th fret twice. Then we hit the 8th um, fret once, and then 10 to twice again. So let's take it from the top. One, two, three, four. does a slide down on the first string to about 15 and then a slide in the back on the second string. Kind of like a... Uh, Alright, then we're going to grab the at the 15th fret second string, bend that up and catch the first string at 15. So we're going to hit that first string three times while we've bent up that second string. Hit the first string and bring it down, and a release to the 13th fret, and catch the fourth. I'm sorry, third string at 14. It's pretty quick. Okay. When we move back to our first position, we're going to slide in on the third string to six and go down to the second string at five, first string at five. And then we're going to do a little, we're going to hit eight, pull off to five, and back to eight. And he holds that just for a second. So slowly that lick will sound like this. Then we'll take the third string, we're going to go from 5 to 7, back to 5, with a bend up first. So it's a bend up release, hit 5, and then back to 7. And back to 5. And then 5 on the 4th, and then 7 on the 4th twice. So it's like we're coming back into that very first lick. Then we're going to do the rest of that first lick. Okay, now what we do... Then he's just going to do 7 on the 4th to 5 on the 4th, back to 7 on the 4th. He's kind of setting himself up for the next lick. So we go like this. Five on the third string to seven twice. Then we'll take that, just like the first lick, we're just going to slide down or move down from that seventh fret on the third string up to nine. Okay, so let me take it from sliding into the uh, sixth fret. One, two, three. 
So next we'll move back to the 15th position on the second string, bend that up, and hit that first string at 15 three times. And so he does it a total of three times. And then just a stop. And then you're into the chords, which are, so again at 15 slowly. Okay, then we're into Come back in with some chord riffs. All right, we're going to do D, C, and then we're going to go to these notes. Um, of course, this is overdubbed, but what you can play is the fourth string, 7-5-7. Seven, and then your C to D. And then we just go up to the second uh, and first strings at 13 and slide back. All right, you can slide in and back. So you got this. All right, that's one way of playing. Now another way, you can do your C and uh, D up here, D to C, and then do these chords. So you're playing the uh, bottom half of the chord, you're playing the first string at three, and the second and third at five, I'm sorry, yeah, five up to, and move that up a full space. So you have this. that little tone. Another thing you can do, and again, I think he's overdubbed this many times, is play the actual A, G, A. Okay, so we're going to do C, I'm sorry, D, C, D, and then A, G, A, and then C, D. So they're all variations on it, and I think he's overdubbed it many times or a few times with guitars playing in different spots to fill that sound and give you what you hear in your ears. And the way we come out of that lick is this. All right, so what we're doing is fifth string, fourth fret to fourth string, seventh fret. Then we'll go five and seven on the fifth, and then hammer in to five and seven on the fourth. So I'm going to do that one time through with some variations. see how some of those variations sound, but they're all the same chords.